Kakasha Toy Fans, D21 Beast here, back with part 2 of our Series 3 of the TMNT Mini Maids for 2016. This is the second half of the wave that's exclusive to Toys R Us stores. As I mentioned in the first part of this review, there will be a blind bag assortment of these guys that includes two additional Mini Mate figures that are not part of the Toys R Us wave. But as far as the blister carded 2 packs go, this is it. As you can see here, we do have the Vision Quest Raphael and Slash, as well as the Vision Quest Donatello and Battle Ready Shredder. Flipping these packages around, you can see on the back we once again have the Mini Mates logo, as well as the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo. We then have a lineup of all the figures available in this Toys R Us wave. Finally, towards the bottom, we've got the bio for Vision Quest Raphael, Slash, Vision Quest Donatello, and Battle Ready Shredder. Alright, Shellheads, that's the packaging. Let's say we get these Mystic Heroes out of their box and see what they're all about. Taking a look at these Minimate figures out of the packaging, and I have to admit, toy fans, I'm a little bit mixed on this set. Now, the two-pack with Raphael and Slash I actually enjoy quite a bit, but the two-pack with Donatello and Shredder, I'm not as sold on. Let's start with my favorites here. I love the way that this Raphael Minimate looks. He's got tons of brand new pieces, really, for this figure. He's got a new hood piece that actually pops off the head very nicely, and you got a nice raft head underneath. It slides right back on. He's got some uh, brand new arm pieces here on the forearms and on the legs. He's got a brand new shell piece. There were no turtle shells that had sort of the suspenders or belt-like straps going over the shoulders quite like this in the past, so they've sculpted that brand new for him. And on the back, we have his gasoline tanks, which I think look really nice, and they've been painted. I mean, overall, he's really just a great-looking little minifigure. Definitely my favorite of the four. Slash actually looks pretty good, but he comes with a few concessions. As you can see here, he does have his mace weapon, and this is the only accessory that's designated for him. Uh, he's got the standard Minimate sort of canister style head, but it does not move at all. It's actually a separate piece that's been glued onto the torso of the figure, which is simply massive. But there's a ton of sculpted detail on here, nice paint applications for the belt and the logo on the belt. All of his sort of green spikes have been painted appropriately, which is different from the way the Playmates handled the figure. On the back, we have a nice bright green paint. We also have the belt coming around the back here. Uh, really just a massive looking little guy here. Uh, Brand new pieces here on the forearms, more green spikes being painted, and the tape's been painted nicely. The fingernails have been painted. Same here on the other side. No actual paint detail on his mace. But then down here on the legs, we also have these feet. Uh, again, painted very nicely, and uh, very different from the way Playmates handled the figure. But what we're seeing here is articulation is a bit limited. And for Slash, I'm going to go ahead and show you now what that means. Uh, he does have ball-jointed shoulders, but they don't really get the full range of movement, given the uh, torso piece. He's got a single-jointed elbow that bends forward and backwards, but as you see here, that's about as far down as his arm's going to go, given the way the, the arm has to be plugged on at the shoulder. There's no wrist swivel on this guy either. Coming down, though, we do have a waist swivel, which actually works better on Slash than it does on the standard turtle figures. And then ball-jointed hips, so his leg can move forward uh, only about that far, only back about that far. He's got a single jointed knee that bends back that far, and the ball joint at the hip allows his leg to move out only about that far from the body. There is no ankle articulation. Normally for a mini mate, I might be kind of disappointed by the limited range of motion, but given that the character design for Slash doesn't really lend itself that well to the mini mate form factor, I think Diamond actually did a pretty good job with the final look of this figure. Mystic Donatello is probably my third favorite figure from the wave. He's got the shroud going around his shoulders here, just like we saw with the Playmates release. He has the stone mask inside, which is painted in cl very cleanly with the lines there. Uh, the paint on the belt looks very nice. We have gold paint there for the center. On the back, we can see here that he does actually have a holster for his axe. Not a bow staff this time, but his sort of battle axe. Um, like we saw with the Leonardo mini Mate figure, it is attached to the shroud, but unlike Leonardo, this seems to be uh, glued on stronger than we saw with the Leonardo's arrow quiver, so I'm glad that they've handled that a little bit differently. It may still be a bit fragile if you're forcing that axe in and out of the holster, but for right now, it seems to be holding on just fine. I'm very happy with with it. Coming down the figure here, you'll see that we have some nice sort of leg detail painted on the top of the leg and on the bottom, as well as freshly sculpted knee pads and belt wraps for the feet. But as we look at the forearms and the hands, these do appear to be recycled from the original Donatello Minimate figure. Finally, we have the Minimates Battle Ready Shredder. On the left, we have the Battle Ready Shredder. On the right, we have the Series 1 Shredder Minimate figure. And you can see that there's a lot of similarities between these two minifigures. But what is different is you'll notice that the Battle Ready Shredder has purple coming off the top of his shin guards, where the original Shredder release just had black. The shoulder piece is different for the Battle Ready Shredder. We don't have a cape coming off the back of the shoulder piece like we saw with the original Shredder release. It is more comic accurate for the purple color to be visible than this sort of blackish color that we have on the Shredder figure. And lastly, we have the uh, open mask here for the Battle Ready Shredder. Now, I personally don't care for the open mask look, but what is nice about it is at least that we see that we have a sort of a grimacing or an angry Shredder versus the original Shredder release that we had, where when you pull off his helmet, he just kind of looked a little bit grumpy. So I suppose if you already own the original Shredder mini Mate figure, it'll be nice to have some interchangeable heads for him. Oh, and I am noticing the chest armor is printed just a little bit differently between the two figures. Accessories for these Mystic Turtle 2 packs largely doesn't disappoint. Shredder's coming with two different helmets, one without a face mask and one with. He also has a clear display stand. Slash has got the mace that we already looked at, and he also has a clear display stand. 
Donatello actually comes with an interchangeable head that has his bandana featured, but largely when he's in this look, the stone mask is all you're seeing from this guy. And of course he has that battle axe that we already looked at. What he doesn't have though is a bow staff. And given that Raphael has his size, Michelangelo had his nunchucks, and Leonardo had his swords, it is a little weird that Donatello doesn't come with his standard bow staff. Not sure why that wasn't included. But then Raphael is completely decked out with all sorts of weapons. As I mentioned, he has the size, but he also has these sort of claw weapons that he had on the show for his mystic fire form. And then he actually has these snap on fire pieces, which I absolutely love. You may remember me about a year ago praising Diamond for including these flame pieces with the Uncanny X-Men Pyro minifigure. I thought they were a perfect inclusion for that Red Hot Mutant, and I'm especially glad to see them included now with this flame-throwing Raphael minifigure. Lastly, we come to the display stand for these Minimate figures. Donatello's got a display base that features the kanji for mountain, and Raphael has a display base that features the kanji for fire. Of course, Donatello being the Mountain Spirit, Raphael being the Fire Spirit, and these are different from the display bases we had originally with the Turtles in Series 1 and Series 2, where they had the Sewer Lid style display design. Like I said in my first Mystic Turtle review, I do prefer the Sewer Lid display base for the Turtle figures, but I'm glad to see Diamond trying something new with these guys. With the exception of Slash, the articulation on these mini figures is largely the same, so we're going to take a look at Shredder. He does have a ball-jointed head so he can look forward, uh, not so far, back just a little bit, head looks left and right. He's got a ball-jointed shoulder so his arm can move forward that far, move back that far, out from the body that far, uh, single-jointed elbow that bends down that far and back that far. He does have a forward rotation here at the wrist, it's a little difficult to turn with his uh, forearm claws there. He does have a waist rotation, he's got a ball-jointed hip so his leg can move forward that far, move back all the way, knee bends all the way back. And his ball jointed hip only allows his leg to move out about that far, but largely a great range of articulation for such tiny little minifigures. Height wise, we can see that all these minifigures do stand roughly at two and a half inches tall. For some size comparison, here they are compared to the Mega Block Spider Man minifigure, and compared to Creo Transformers Cheetor. Here they are compared to a standard Lego minifigure, and compared to one of the original Minimate figures from 2002, we've got Captain Kirk from Star Trek. And finally, here they are compared to an average heighted mini mate figure. We've got Wolverine from the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 figure line. Hey, Raph. Yeah? I hear in your mystic fire form they say you're too hot. Um, you could say he makes a mythological incendiary reptile want to retire, man. What, are you kidding me with a science mumbo jumbo? Just say dragon, dude. All right, toy fans. Well, that's my review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Series 3 mini mate figures exclusive to Toys R Us, available in 2016. Overall, I've got different feelings about each two-pack in this set. The Raphael and Slash two-pack I think is a real highlight. Raph comes with tons of accessories, he's got excellent sculpted detail, great paintwork, and Slash, while he is a bit limited in the articulation, still looks really good for what he is, and I'm glad that Diamond gave him a shot. I really think that two-pack stands well on its own. But then we turn our attention to the Battle Ready Shredder and Donatello two-pack. Unless you're a completionist, the Mystic Turtles aren't really that necessary to add to your collection, and getting a duplicate Shredder when you may have already picked one up in Series 1 really feels like kind of a letdown. I much rather would have preferred to see a Baxter Stockman, Stockman Fly, Tiger Claw, or any other host of villains or mutanimals. We're getting Slash, why not get Monkey Brains? This is a two-pack you could probably go ahead and skip. Don't get me wrong, they're still really decent mini Minimate figures. I just don't think they're that essential. Well, thanks for watching this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Which one of these four has been your favorite? As I said, mine's definitely the Raphael figure, but I really like that Slash, too. If you guys like what you saw here, go ahead and give me a like and share this video with your friends. It really helps me out. Also, if you like what you see here and want to see more, be sure to keep up with me on Twitter and Instagram at D21Beast. Like I said yesterday, eat your pizza, mind your sensei, and we'll see you next time. Booyakasha!